My name is Tony Bianco. I'm from Aperio. I'm the Google Practice Director. The Google App solutions that we have, we offer four essentially to our customers. Uh, SaaS, kind of uh, on-demand strategy offerings that we provide to them. Uh, then we have some pilot offerings that we give to customers, and those are used for them to help evaluate Google Apps and see if it's a good fit for their organization. Uh, the third one is really training and change management. So that's helping them understand what the apps are and how to use them, uh, get end users up to speed, and train people on, on really how they're going to use them in the future. Uh, the fourth group that we've got is the uh, implementation and collaboration offerings. And that's really for implementation of the, the Google Apps in their environment. One of the best examples of uh, uh, an implementation that we did was TSTT. They're actually an ISP located in the Trinidad-Tobago area. And what we did there was they had 97,000 users running on SendMail, and they needed to migrate them over to Gmail. Uh, so we provided the implementation services to migrate them over and successfully get them up and running, as well as doing some integration work with their um, uh, user provisioning system uh, so their help desk folks can provision new users uh, on demand. Uh, TSTT was faced with uh, rising IT costs and uh, a user base that was uh, growing more and more accustomed to seeing email but wanting more out of just... Uh, uh, the offerings that TSTT was providing. So what, uh, what TSTT did at the end of the day was they took a look at Gmail, evaluated it, and said that's, the, that's our solution for the future. They implemented that. We migrated 97,000 users over. And then they were able to offer them a whole suite of products beyond just mail, including G Calendar, uh, Docs and Sheets, uh, Google Sites, and other things. So their end user experience was a much more broad experience. But they were able to lower their IT costs at the end of the day because they didn't have to have servers uh, managing all their infrastructure. They didn't have to you know, pay all the people uh, that were there to manage those servers as well. Uh, so they could refocus those IT resources in other more strategic directions for the company. Lincoln Financial Media um, is a company that is looking to outsource their, a lot of their IT um, functions. And so what they did is they came to Google and Aperio and asked us and Google to help uh, move them onto the Google applications. Um, in, in that process, they asked Aperio in particular to provide training and change management services. Uh, so we gave them a communications plan. Uh, we helped teach uh, several hundred users how to use Google applications and get them up and running on it. And the ROI that they received essentially at the end of the day was uh, they didn't have to pay as much um, in terms of their IT infrastructure moving forward, and their IT department can focus on more core applications that they need to roll out. So at salesforce.com, uh, we developed training materials, uh, including the content, um, and rolled that training material information out to about 3,000 users in their uh, end user population. That included their help desk agents, it included their executives, it also included uh, their IT administrators. Um, we developed uh, cheat sheets for them, end user guides, uh, all kinds of training slides, and delivered about 25 classes along the way uh, to their user population. A complementary solution to Google Apps uh, in the cloud is Salesforce.com. Uh, we're real bullish on that. We've actually developed some products ourselves around that uh, integration. Um, but you can tie together a uh, user's calendar from Salesforce.com to GCal, and it really provides some interesting enterprise uses, uh, such as managing a marketing campaign and those kind of things. So um, we feel that integration of different cloud computing environments is uh, definitely something that's coming, and uh, we're starting to see our customers asking for it even today. What is the future of Google Apps uh, and cloud computing overall? I, you know, it's interesting. Google Apps is just at the very beginning points. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely in the early adopter phase, so a lot of companies are doing pilots, testing it out. I can see in five years from now, 80% uh, of the companies, the enterprise companies, the Fortune 1000s out there, will have some form of Google Apps uh, implemented inside their organizations. Um, in cloud computing in general, I think the biggest thing that we're going to see is integration. So more and more cloud computing solutions are going to enter the marketplace and being able to tie those together to give an enterprise view of the business and uh, be able to operate seamlessly between those applications is going to be a real important part.